Hey you guys, so today we are looking at this, which is, yes, Star 2 figures. Let's get this out of the box. I was a little bit worried when the box, I opened the packaging box and this box was inside. And I'm thinking to myself, how many boxes is going to be inside this? And when you get to the end, it's only this big. All right, ah, there we go. Like I say, very well packed. And the box inside a box. Give me a sec while we... There we go. Oops. Right, focus. Uh, no paperwork inside the box. And that was going down there. So, this is the Ruins of Scarrow Collector's Figure Set. Yes. Ruins of Scarrow on the top there. Scarrow, Scarrow, Scarrow. Depends how you say it. I say it with the Yorkshire accent like. Featuring two Mavellan. I don't know why I couldn't say that. It's like Mavellan. It looked like movie. Mavellan warriors. One Dalek with bombs. Yes, the fourth Doctor, who obviously isn't in it. Character online exclusive. Figures in there. Top of the box. Back of the box. A whole load of reading to do. Voice over guy. Voice over guy. Where you? Oh, you're going. Voice over guy says he can't be asked, bothered to read all of that. It's the plot of the episode, which uh, one of the major issues confronting production was the battered condition of the surviving Daleks casing. The lead Dalek was the best surviving prop from Genesis. The other three were made up of cannibalised and patched up props. These three Daleks were repainted in a very mismatched colour scheme that is almost a battleship blue-grey. Despite the destiny of the Daleks is regarded as a highlight of its season. I must admit, I think it's it's this one, one of them. You can see there's there's masking tape holding the front of the thing together. Many years ago, I started building a Dalek, which I never actually finished, a life-size one. Um, and my, my aim was to build sort of the grey one and I was going to stick some tape on the front of it. Anyway, all the stuff underneath. Rings of Scar on the side. So, yeah, I think this... Um, I think it looks like a nice set. So I'll make it a nice set if I open it. Right, so we can open it on the top and get the knifey thing out again. There we go. Right, let's see what we have in here. That's a nice, that, that in itself would be a nice way to display them. I must admit the, the backing cards that they're putting in with these are pretty good. Davros, creator of the Daleks, humanoid mutant. File cycle initiated. I wonder if those numbers have any hidden meanings. Hmm, I wonder. How many of you Hoovians out there are going to tell me what that means? If it means anything. I remember that this is one of the episodes I remember watching as a kid. And I always thought those guns were awesome. Yeah. I always thought they were really cool. It's a very simple design. It feels very Flash Gordon. Go watch the old Buster Crab Flash Gordon, you'll see what I mean. Because they had guns that were, like, odd. Right. So we have the two. It's a shame that they've given us both ladies. Because there was male... Um, Mavellan. I'm having trouble saying Mavellan now, and I don't know why, because it's not like I've never said it before. Mavellan. Mavellan. Mavellan! Right. Yeah. I suppose they've made one body, and... Yeah. That would have been another figure, and that would have been more expensive, etc. So they went with the female version. Because the female versions are the most sort of remembered. I'm now looking to see if I can find the scissors. Because the scissors would be better than the knife. But anyway. Just give me a sec. I will trim. 
You don't want to see me do this on camera because if I cut a finger off, let's say it's not going to regenerate. No, that's not going to cut. Ah, it's a knot. Okay. I thought it was going to cut, but it's not knot. What do you mean it's not knot? It's not going to cut. Right. Okay. Oh, give me five minutes while I undo all these knots. I'll be I'll be back in a second. Right. So after a little bit of rummaging around, I actually found some scissors and cut them out of the packaging. So we have the guns I was talking about. Let me get this in focus. Come on, you want to do it? There we go. Pretty cool. So they will hold Look at the hands I'm going with. Um, let's see. All right, that's why, because the joints are in a weird place. There we go. The joints were not, her elbow was not straight. So I'm going to try, I'm guessing. Yeah, there we go. That was kind of cool. And it f still doesn't focus very well. There we go. And I think I've done it upside down because that looks like probably should be the top. We'll correct it for the next one. Oh, we'll just take it off. There we go. Right. So let's have a string close up. I, this is, like I said, this is one of the those things I remember from being a kid. I remember watching this one and thinking how um, dirty their outfits would get running around in the mud. You know, you, know, you sort of think, I say, white isn't practical, is it? Obviously, both figures, it's the same body, same hands, everything. It's just a different face. And you can see, just a different face. I'm wondering, yep, because the hair is glued onto the head, so it's that's all they've done. They've just glued. They've just, let's move him out of the way. There we go. Yeah, they've just glued a different head on. I'll stick a different head on. It is manoeuvrable. Oh, arms do come up a little bit. So they do have those shoulder pad things, these, which is going to make it a little bit tricky to move. But they do, they do seem to have a little bit more articulation than some of the other. I feel like the wrist, their elbows, their elbows the wrong way around. I don't know, because they don't seem to go very far. That's about as far as you're going to get it. Either way, that actually seems better. The wrong way around. Yep, I think... Yep, the elbows are on. Hmm, weird. Ah, right, it twists there. So we twist that round. That was the better way. I think she got one arm on the wrong way around. Right. Um, other articulation. We do have out. We have forward. We have backwards. We have, yeah. Knees not far. Articulation there. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. I figure, like I say, it would have been nice to have had a male and a female. Because there is male and female in, uh, I presume. There is. There is male ones in the episode but yeah exactly the same articulation on that right let's have a quick look at the Dalek so this is quite a light grey I didn't get the Genesis Dalek because none of the B&M's around where I live had them um, if I go in and ask they actually look at me like I'm talking rubbish they're like well, we don't do Doctor Who stuff I'm like, well, funny, because you've got some on your shelf over there, just not the one I'm looking for. Yeah. I can like that. I now feel like I may have to have a search for the other one. It's still a bit stiff, but these things usually are right out of the box. 
I stock, guns, bombs. Like I said, I remember them trundling around in the sand on an alien planet of Scaro. Not obviously uh, a quarry in Cornwall or somewhere. Somebody will tell me in the comments underneath where the actual quarry in that episode was, but yeah. I like this. I think I think it's nice and it's it is gonna be a memorable Dalek in my collection. So the these figures stand pretty well with him. And of course we also have some previous figures from this episode. We do have a doctor who will stand. <laughs> See his feet, it's a scarf actually. His feet have been okay while he's been stood on the shelf all these years. There we go. And Romana in the right outfit. One of my favourite Doctor Who figures actually is that one. Hey, it could have been paid a little bit hard, but yeah. I think it's, an, it's a nice set and it was a reasonably good price. I know people complaining that it was a bit expensive, um, but it is completely new sculpting and yeah, it's new sculpts. This has got little bits on it, they're different. We've got two complete sculpts, which will literally only ever be used um, for these figures. It's not like, you know, Romana's head and bits of this have been used on other figures. Tom Baker's been reused. You know, some of the Doctors have been reused. These will pretty much be this. So yeah, I, th I like it. I think it's a nice set. It was a reasonable price. And they shipped it to me really quick. Um, so yeah, gets a 10 out of 10 from me. So if you're new here, please hit the like, shares and subscribe buttons down there. You know what to do. We talk about this all the time on these channels. Like, share, subscribe, etc. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you all have a great night. And I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, and by the way, I know a lot of you have already got these figures, but hey, I got them. I do reviews. What else am I going to do? Bye now.